Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. So I think it's about time to do a completed sales and pricing video for CGC 9.8 comic books. And yeah, just given the whole coronavirus thing, there's so many things kind of happening at once. And um, But I think CGC 9.8 comic books, sort of the ones that we follow anyway here, I think I've hung in there quite well uh, as far as price and, you know, they haven't plummeted in value or anything like that. I haven't really seen too, too much evidence of that. Um, I think what I have seen though is kind of greater volatility, I guess you could call it, or like a range of prices for uh, some CGC 9.8 comic books, like kind of some outlier overpays and then every now and then some books slipping through that are like really cheap, uh, really good prices, really good deals. So uh, yeah, we got a full list of uh, CGC 9.8 comic books and their prices, completed sales here, and all the prices are from eBay and they're in US dollars too, all the prices. I'll have a list in the description below of all the books we'll talk about and their prices. Also got some team submissions, so uh, a couple books here from the team, just people buying out there and letting me know, mostly on Instagram and um, in the comments below. So we'll get to a couple team books. If you do have any books that you bought or whatever it is, uh, message me on Instagram and I'll try to me mention them on the video for sure here. So. Uh, Let's get right into the full list here. Yeah, completed sales and yeah, really interesting given the coronavirus thing, a lot of kind of interesting prices and some good uh, evidence to look at and I think uh, I mentioned the greater volatility in the range in prices and there's some evidence for that in the prices here. But uh, first book from the team. It was uh, Amazing Spider-Man 298 and uh, team member Brett had bought this one in the CGC 9.8, really nice looking one for uh, $285. And I think there was a little bit of shipping on that, but 285 US. This was a really kind of a higher end CGC 9.82, really nicely centered with good colors on a 298 is uh, pretty rare. Like you see a lot of 9.8s with kind of dull colors. So 285, like the, a good fair value for a really nice one with nice colors is a great buy. Yeah, 285 for Amazing Spider-Man 298, a book that I have on my want list. So um, yeah, next book here by the team. Uh, Paul had talked to me on Instagram, let me know. He bought a Batman Adventures Mad Love in the CGC 9.8 Origin of Harley Quinn. Yeah, really cool cover. Uh, it's like the second appearance of Harley Quinn, I'm pretty sure, as well. So um, he grabbed this one for 180 pounds. So I'm thinking it's sterling UK pounds, I'm pretty sure. So that's 222.50. Uh, just doing a quick conversion in US dollars. And if, you know, I want to do a little more research on the pricing for this book, but if that's a normal market price for a Batman Adventures Mad Love in the CGC 9.8 white pages, I'd really am maybe wanting this book as well. And I think all Harley Quinn books are cooling off a little bit. I was used to seeing this one go in auctions for like the 325 ish price range for the last, let's call it like two, three years. I've been CGC 9.8 collecting and I've almost bought this one too, but yeah, now that it's, if, Possibly you could get this at 225. Batman Adventures Mad Love, I think, in the CGC 9.8 white pages for 225 is a great buy. So yeah, good one by Paul there. Uh, Iron underscore IR had got to me on Instagram. Grabbed two books, a really good affordable books too, I think. Uh, Spider-Man 2099 number one, and he grabbed that one for 41 dollars. And I'll mention really quick, I had seen another completed listing on eBay, and it was 61 dollars. So um, he grabbed it for 41 so a great deal, I think, seeing that someone else paid 61 for this book, uh, which is um, you know quite a percentage higher, certainly, than 41 So a good deal on Spider-Man 2099, number one. And he also grabbed an Amazing Spider-Man 365. This is the first appearance of Amazing Spider- or uh, Spider-Man 2099, sorry. First appearances of Spider-Man 2099 in kind of a preview they did in the book. Uh, but. Amazing Spider-Man 365, kind of like an Amazing Fantasy hologram, 15 hologram on the cover too, a cool book. He grabbed it for $140 all in shipped, like right to his house, so $140, so that's kind of like $120 to me, sort of, because uh, a lot of times we don't mention the shipping, so that's a cool book to have, though, yeah, Amazing Spider-Man 365, I mentioned it on the $100 uh, um, list, that uh, list video that we just did, is a, a cool book to get, and I think... 140 all in is like the fair price, I would say. Maybe in an auction you get this un under 100 bucks, but uh, yeah, pretty great price. It was looking really good too in a new case. And uh, team member Jerry had let me know in the comments below that he grabbed an Annihilation Conquest number six for $110. I think I mentioned that on last video too, but 
wanted to mention that because that is the fair value. That's a, a, a price I would recommend to pay for Annihilation Conquest number six is the first new team Guardians of the Galaxy. All right, uh, let's get into the list here, though. So that's, yeah, team submissions, thanks so much. And uh, message me on Instagram. Kind of the easiest way to kind of get a hold of me, I think, is Instagram. And let me know of what you're buying, and I'll mention the price on the video if uh, you want. So first book here out of um, some of the lists of my research just this morning, doing some research, uh, Incredible Hulk 345. I was watching one of these and saw one sell in CGC 9.8 white pages. So Incredible Hulk 345 is, I would say, the second most popular McFarlane Hulk book from that run. Incredible Hulk 340 being, you know, the, really the, the most popular. Uh, this one really popular too, and there's not a lot of CGC 9.8s out there. It went for $276 um, just in the last couple days here. A nice Incredible Hulk 345 in a new case, CGC 9.8. Next book uh, that I saw sell, Main Spider-Man 361 in the newsstand, so I got my newsstand one I brought up, and uh, yeah, first full appearance of Carnage, classic early 90s cover, I'd recommend this book certainly, and um, in a newsstand, one went for 382, and it was looking pretty good too, to be honest, it was like pretty much perfectly centered, I was <laughs> kind of tempted on this one, I, I uh, you know, held the urge to bid, but 382 is a pretty good price for a nice centered newsstand. Uh, I paid like it was like 40 something for mine. I can't remember the exact, but a little over 400. So 382, a good price for this book here, and a book I would recommend. Yeah, and that's a, probably a pretty good price target uh, to go for for that book. Uh, next one I saw sell Amazing Spider-Man 252. So this is tied for the first black costume and an Amazing Fantasy 15 cover homage. Uh, this one in a CGC 9.8 was really tempting me too, uh, one I was watching, and um, had really, really nice colors, a little bit off-centered, otherwise I may have pulled the trigger on this one, and I do have two of these already, Amazing Spider-Man 252. But this one went for $399.95, and it was a buy it now, no best offer, so kind of a flat buy it now. But uh, the colors looked really nice, so... I think, um, you know, it wasn't a surprise that, and that, a lot of times that's what you get with the book, like maybe you might be able to grab this book at 350 but one with really nice colors, if you're really picky, it's going to be like 399 like 400 usually. You don't really see perfect ones kind of in an auction too often. Um, next book is the, the, one of the books I think is some evidence of some volatility, I think, uh, with the CGC 920 prices, although, yeah, a lot of the books that we just talked about, I mean, those are sort of normal prices for the books, so that goes to show that the books are holding up pretty well, too. But this book, uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number 101, the classic John Byrne black costume book that uh, I talked about on, like, a cult, one of our cult uh, um, niche books list uh, on our, one of our videos, because uh, this is not really a key issue, but just a really classic John Byrne black costume Spidey cover that everyone loves. So in the new stand version of this book, and there's not very, there's like 40 or 50, I think, in the 9.8. So the new stand version, really rare book. One I saw in an auction sell for $678. And then another one sold for $437. So, and then the direct version, usually for this book, will go for about $300. So, yeah, in the new stand version of this book, this is, uh, you know, seeing some kind of, you know, pretty volatile prices, but they're still pretty high prices, so definitely, definitely some more evidence, too, that, you know, during this coronavirus, the prices aren't plummeting. Um, I think maybe on some Silver Age books where they, some books have gone up by thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, uh, maybe those books are, are cooling off a bit. I wouldn't say plummeting. I, I know I've seen a lot of those uh, type of books sell for uh, decent prices as well. Uh, so yeah, comic books hanging in there, I think, uh, whereas like the stock market was kind of like 30%, down 30% from its highs um, sort of in the last month. It's kind of bounced back a bit, but... Uh, so next book here, Silver Surfer 82, I saw sell. This is kind of an off-the-radar book, but it's first full tyrant. So a really cool villain that kind of got a lot of potential. You know, you could see this one being maybe a cool MCU villain, but Silver Surfer 82 with a cool cover in an auction to... Went for $135, and um, yeah, I saw this one sort of uh, in a buy it now is closer to 200 and they were kind of tempting me, because this is a really cool cover, a nice colorful 90s cover, 
Uh, but in an auction for 135, that's a price to aim for for this book. Yeah, Silver Surfer 82, first full tyrant. Uh, next one was uh, a modern book that I saw, kind of a more pretty popular modern key, I think. It's uh, uh, Batman Beyond 37. So it's a first full appearance of Batwoman Beyond. And uh, yeah, Batman Beyond 37. This one was just the first print, so there's a variant of it as well, but just the first print. Kind of the more popular cover, I think, too. With her just Batwoman Beyond on the cover. First full Batwoman Beyond went for 125 in an auction. And pretty sure I saw this go for like 150, a little bit over two. And, you know, I think when this cools down, this book will be about a hundred bucks. Um, cause it, yeah, just coming out this book, there's maybe a little bit of hype for it. But, uh, 125 is, I think, a pretty decent price because I think I saw quite a few uh, more kind of people buying into the hype and paying up a little bit more. Uh, next book is a pretty solid key, certainly. It's a Omega Man number three, the first Lobo. And saw one of these go for one seventy nine ninety five, and you know pretty fair price. I wouldn't say this is like a deal, but I noticed uh, in the pictures, really great copy, perfectly centered, nice colors in a new case. So yeah, I think a good example of um, you know where a lot of times when it's a perfect book, I don't mind paying like a fair value. Like it, it's like better to get a perfect book at a fair value than get a deal on a 9.8 that looks kind of odd, or maybe the case is dinged up, or maybe it's just off-centered a lot, or whatever, or the colors are dull. So, yeah, pretty great one. Omega Man number three is a pretty cool key issue, and that's like a, a good fair price for a nice one, $179.95. Uh, a signature series book here I saw that was really cool, actually, I thought would be a cool one to have. It was Spawn 301, the uh, Crane Virgin edition, and uh, I think this was a second print as well, so it wasn't the first print, but a Clayton Crane Virgin variant, and it was signed by Crane, McFarlane, and Capullo, so a triple signed, uh, Spawn 301, looking really cool, yeah, Clayton Crane um, is a really hot artist right now, and he, yeah, he really did a great job on this Spawn 301, and it went for two thirty two fifty. dollars so uh, triple signed, and really cool cover, and yeah, for a modern book, that, I thought that was pretty cool, because... I think for modern books, getting like something triple signed because it's a modern is kind of cool because it just makes it a little more rare. And uh, for modern books, that's kind of cool to make it a little more rare if you could, if you can. Uh, next one is uh, Secret Wars number eight. Yeah, Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number eight. Big key issue of the '80s, the origin of the black symbiote costume kind of thing. And one of these in the CGC nine point eight two thirty seven fifty went for, and that's really a fair price, like. Uh, I would say 200s the lower end of the range, 250 the higher end of the range, so you're kind of right in between there. And a classic key issue for sure. You can be patient on that one too, because I think there's like two or three thousand on the census in the CGC 9.8. Uh, a couple old Spidey books I saw sell, and um, in auctions too, and they're from 1975, so you know, classic, Amazing Spider Man books. In CGC 9.8 white pages, yeah, Amazing Spider Man 144. It's a Gwen Stacy clone appearance, and this one went for 1323 in CGC 9.8. Yeah, really pretty cool cover, too. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 144 for 1323 and Amazing Spider-Man 142, which is a kind of a classic Mysterio appearance, Mysterio cover of the era. Now, these aren't really key issues, though, but um, pretty super, super rare in the CGC 9.8, I bet. I bet there's only maybe 10 of each of them. Uh, this one went for 861, Amazing Spider-Man 142, classic Mysterio cover. These are 1975 books, so yeah, that's the kind of price in there if you're looking for cool covers in 1975, CGC 9.8, like, yeah, over 800, and, um, yeah, 1,323 was the other one. Uh, so next one here is, um, a big DC key, yeah, a really big DC key for going for a good price here. New Teen Titans number two. It's a first Deathstroke, the Terminator. Yeah, this was a direct edition, so um, and he, a, a really popular DC key. This is one I've thought about purchasing in the past. One went for four hundred and fifty-five dollars in an auction. I think that's a, that's a pretty decent price. That is um, a good price for this book. It's a popular key, and I I think in the newsstand you see them go for over five hundred. So this is a direct version, but. Still, yeah, really good price. Lower end of fair market value, I think. Four fifty-five in an auction for uh, New Teen Titans number two in a new case. Yeah, okay. Uh, next one, a, re a really nice book that I saw, and I was kind of instantly jealous. And 
Um, kind of wish I saw the auction, although I think the shipping to me was pretty expensive, but... Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 238 sold. I probably should have bought, brought them right now to uh, first full first appearance of Hobgoblin. And uh, this one with the tattoos looking really nice. The colors were really nice, nicely centered. It, it was a direct edition. Uh, went for $981.89. Yeah, in an auction. $981.89. Mine's a very similar one to this. Yeah, very well centered. I really like my copy. Great colors. And I paid over a thousand for mine. It was yeah, I think around a thousand fifty. So a nine hundred eighty-one eighty-nine for one that pretty much looked like mine was. So yeah, I was like, oh damn, like this was pretty like a perfect one, and it was under a thousand is is a good deal for uh, first Hobgoblin. Yeah, Amazing Spider-Man two thirty-eight CGC nine point eight white pages. Next one here is a book I brought out. I saw sell Star Wars eighty-one in the CGC nine point eight white pages. A book I got, and uh, this is one that I originally sent. To CGC, I bought it in the raw off of the internet, off of eBay, and uh, came back. Yeah, CGC 9.8 white pages. Uh, saw one sell though last uh, in the last couple days here for two hundred twelve dollars and fifty cents, and yeah, sort of out of the later issues of Star Wars comic books. Um, this is Star Wars 81. This is the Return of Boba Fett. So there's Boba Fett fans that are gonna immediately want to buy it, but. It's just the pretty much to me the coolest cover out of like the later issues of Star Wars, and yeah, still somewhat affordable. Um, two twelve fifty, I think. Yeah, right around two hundred, kind of a price aim for for this one. And yeah, like I said, uh, a great um, later issue Star Wars cover, or one of my favorites for sure. Uh, a really cool modern book, actually. Next one here is uh, Invincible Iron Man number one. It's first Riri Williams. And, uh, I think, is it number nine? I think it's number, I didn't, I didn't write the number down here. Invincible Iron Man, the first Riri, Riri Williams, it's basically the Lady Iron Man, uh, went in an auction for one twenty eight forty nine. And cool cover on this one, I think, this is kind of one that does have potential. I think, you know, they've certainly, Iron Man's such a hit in the MCU movies and the Avengers movies and stuff, so could really see them introducing like the Lady Iron Man and just kind of catching everyone off guard with that. And then this book probably wouldn't be 128.49. So yeah, kind of maybe a modern to possibly speculate on. I think it kind of makes sense to me, but um, yeah, maybe I'll, uh, and that's kind of a price target to look at. 128.49 in an auction, 114. Uh, so next one, yeah, Batman Adventures Annual number one. It's the first Roxy Rocket this uh, issue, and it's like a really early Harley Quinn appearance. I think it's like the third or fourth appearance of her. And a pretty decent cover, uh, and in an auction I saw it go for 125 even. And yeah, that's a pretty decent price. Like maybe you get that around closer to 100 if you get lucky, but uh, decent price for that one. Uh, next book is a Moon Knight number one. Yeah, really popular uh, book that, for me, always kind of went around $200 was a good deal. Uh, Moon Knight number one, Origin of Moon Knight, really cool Moon Knight cover. Like, if you're a Moon Knight fan, you gotta have this one. So, I saw it go 206.55. So, yeah, a good example of just, I think, a, a, a pretty popular kind of cult followed character and book that, you know, I think I've saw go around 200, maybe a little bit over. And in this coronavirus, you know, market, it's could, this book could have gone for a long lower. It could have gotten, you know, cooled off a little bit, but. Yeah, no, two hundred six fifty five in an auction, I think, is the normal fair price. So more evidence that everything's just kind of hanging in there. <laughs> Next one's a, kind of the deal that I saw, I thought, was um, a Marvel Age number 8. So this is like the Stan Lee and Jim Shooter cover, who's like the ed uh, editors, editors of Marvel, I guess. But uh, anything with Stan Lee on the cover is kind of collectible, and this one's pretty cool, to be honest. And in an auction, Marvel Age number eight, in an auction, one went for $50. So yeah, that's what I kind of think this is one of the deals out of the whole week that I saw. Yeah, kind of a cool collectible Jim Lee cover that I think you could probably get someone to pay at least 100 for it pretty easy on the internet. Uh, and a quick buy it now uh, for 50 bucks. I think, yeah, pretty great buy. And the last book here on the whole list here um, is uh, Amazing Spider-Man 607, so brought mine out. Yeah, just... This is like the J. Scott Campbell Black Cat cover to get, I think. Um, yeah, definitely kind of like one of his first original ones and um, the coolest. 
And really collectible, yeah, the prices are kind of the highest, I would say, for this sort of era of J. Scott Campbell Spider-Man books, too, so it's the most wanted. So a book I would recommend, yeah, uh, it went for one sixty two fifty last week in an auction, too. And, you know, I had seen one of these, it was, I think, a really lucky buy where someone got it for, like, one thirty nine. I think it was, in an auction. But since then, most of these I just see right around sort of 160 170 and mine I paid in a kind of a best a negotiation best offer 180 So So um, paid up a little bit, but um, yeah, I think that's kind of the price range sort of uh, sort of 150 to 200 is uh, sort of the range you'll, you'll want to pay for this book. And I'd recommend to buy this book. Yeah, this is kind of a cult follow book that I think has potential to really could see this in 10 years being like three to four hundred dollars around three to four hundred rather than 150 to 200 right now okay uh yeah so what i mentioned you know through all the prices and you know i actually think a lot of the cgc 920 books we follow here are hanging in there quite well um in this kind of crazy market i guess you could call it uh and yeah, a lot of different factors with the coronavirus. I think it's like a lot of people are at home, whereas normally they would be busy working. So there's maybe a little more time on their hands. So, but then a lot of people have uh, are financially stressed too. So a lot of things at play. But um, it seems like CGC nine point eight comic books are hanging in there. Yeah. So, and that's kind of yeah from an investment portfolio standpoint. I think that's exactly what I wanted out of the, these. Um, Besides the awesome art and the nostalgia and all that, but you know, you'd, you'd like these to kind of hang in while the stocks are kind of cratering because stocks are always, they're going to crater all the time. Like it's, that's what happens. It's very volatile. You just can't be really scared out of the stock market. That's not what you want to do, but, um, comic books, you, you want them to maybe not be as volatile. And yeah, I think uh, that's kind of, um, happening right now. Yeah. They're, they're pretty great. Kind of acting as a low volatile uh, part of a portfolio, I guess, an investment portfolio, and that's sort of what I recommend them for for them here. You know, I made that video where like I don't think comic books are like the best investment or anything, um, but uh, they can provide that sort of all the things you like about them, the art and the nostalgia, plus like a pretty solid, uh, not very volatile investment. And yeah, they're still going for pretty firm prices. A lot of the key issues here, so. That'll be it for the video today, though. Yeah, some CGC 9.8 completed sales and prices. Always great to stay on top of the market. Uh, if you haven't already, I'd invite you to join the team and subscribe to Team CGC 9.8. Hit the bell to get all the latest notifications. And yeah, add me on Instagram and Twitter, too. Yeah, I'll have all the links in the description below and the whole list of all the issues and the prices in the description below. Yeah, thanks so much for watching today. I'll see you on the next video.